no one exactly enjoys preseason because this is the part where you know you're doing two days we're working hard we're grinding we're we're in a different area we're not at home in a hotel hotel food hotel beds it's not the most enjoyable thing but i think it also gives the opportunity to kind of build more relationships and get closer with one another we made a conscious choice to keep most of the group together if we come back and everyone is a few percentage points better that's going to make our team so much better We would have finished top four last year. If we didn't have that COVID outbreak at the club later in the year, we would have been right up there with a home playoff, I believe. And this year, that's what we, you know, that's what we want to strive for. You want to, you want to win trophies. You want to win MLS Cup. In our end of the season, I was really happy. The club were able to bring, you know, most of the guys back because it's really important for us to keep going. You know, where we ended last year, that's not where we we want to be. We ultimately want to, you know, get to the top and, you know, potentially fight for championship. Texas teams, Minnesota, and Kansas City. What exactly that means, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to see them more than we're going to see anybody else in the first half of the season. Right, so this is an important game. Yes, it's preseason. Yes, it's going to be your first hot day. Yes, there's a lot of excuses why things don't have to be perfect. For us, we talk about becoming a good team. Becoming a good team is winning these battles. We've got young players that, you know, are going to be fantastic players, but we need to kind of help them along the way when they need it. Not all the time because they need to make their own mistakes as well, but they're going to need it. I think it's just a good time for us to be where we are. We are going in the right direction. I think we showed in flashes last season during the interruptions that we had that we were well on our way to being a good side. So we're not trying to change too much this year. I'm looking forward to the continued development of, of some of the players who are just really still scratching the surface on being professionals. As they get better, as we pay attention to more details in terms of what we do as a group, and as each player gets just a few percentage points better, I think it's gonna make our team a whole lot better. It doesn't just stop here. I mean, just because you made it to this level, is that's, that's not the end. We just signed, you know, what, four new homegrowns. I mean, even being with, in camp with them, I see the guys that they're eager to impress and eager to play. So um, I'm just happy to be in that role to, to help guide them and, and hopefully they can have a long and great careers. Why? Drew, straight down the middle. Yeah, that was grandpa speed. Needed the nine iron. Obviously, preseason is physically and mentally demanding, doing two a days, playing a lot of games. So, just being able to come out here and enjoy a little bit of downtime and still be competitive and, and have fun with the guys is, uh, is important. Pace is great, and we got the read wrong, so I might go in. Get a little. <gasps> for the record, I was aiming for you. That's why it got so close. The club's done such a good job of setting up a, a preseason for us that obviously can take our mind off soccer a little bit. Um, and, you know, we grind and grind and grind and, and, and train a lot and work hard in preseason, but it's nice to be able to do things like this and um, put soccer to the side for a little bit and, uh, and have fun together. Yes. yes. <laughs> I would probably say seven or eight for you. Yeah, whatever you're... I mean, it's kind of like what you like to... Oh, that's wow. pretty, Drew. That wow. might go in the hole. Cut a little. I think it's straight into the grass. Or straight into the cactus. Great putt. As a whole, preseason has been good. Um, it is a long time to be away, you know, from families. I think guys are, are feeling that a little bit. But um, like I said, the club's done a great job giving us options with activities like this. And um, and we've uh, been getting better as a team. Training's been good, so that's what's exciting. Having a lot of guys returning this year, keeping that same core group and, and being under, under Robin for, uh, uh, you know, a year or so now. Um, and I think made a lot of progress. I'm excited about where we're at. 
great. Good putt. Two in a row for the boys. Putt court and approach, big time. Game's so easy, isn't it? It's just cake. Go, yep. Get some jogging in today? Good. Cam, you okay? How are you, mate? You good? There he is. Mate, it's the kind of weather you want, isn't it? <laughs> I think I always had a, a motivation and satisfaction from helping people. You know, for me, you know, the success and things is are we, are we helping these players? Are, are they growing and developing and getting better? You know, whether that's Kellen that was in the national team and he's coming back into it, or it's a younger player that's maybe just starting that journey. But irregardless, we're providing the environment for them to grow and develop and improve and get better as a player. <laughs> that last Eunice is a bad ref, huh? He's a bad ref. Getting to know the people, that's the key. Um, so not just, all the, not just the young players, but all the players, you know, and getting to know them, getting to know them kind of on a personal level, you start to build a relationship, you start to build trust. Here, yeah, yeah. In the build, I want you to mix it up on Danny. Don't come to feet anymore. Try and play in behind him. Start offside. Yeah. So in behind him, start offside. Then, yeah, then yes, and then come on. So see what he does when you're not coming to feet, okay? Yes. What do you think? Great. See the difference? Yeah. Well done. I've had some some really good experiences. I've kind of worked at all the different levels of the game, I think, in this country. And um, just be able to learn so much from all the different experiences. And um, yeah, each one, you, you, you take away things, you, you establish a role. When you're young, you're just trying to gather as much information as you can and learn and try and get around really good people with good experience. Good, here we go. Now we go. Middle first call, middle first call. Nico, in that middle, yeah. sometimes when you come out to press, yeah. you come out from here to go there, and this is too open. Maybe come from in to out, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So you protect your shoulder. They can only go around you, not through. Middle first, middle first. Don't get split. So always be that awareness of space. So if Eunice comes in as a pivot, and we've got the extra player, once he goes, there's space here. There's no outside. There. No, well, there, but you can time your run, right? If Keegan's gone, Eunice has got to go there. In an ideal world, it's yeah. Keegan's Keegan coming, coming in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because yeah. I'm thinking now, because we've got three behind me, I'm thinking yeah, I'll Yeah, I know, yeah. It's a safe minute, really. Route three, two, yeah. Dan, we can see that as well from back there, right? Just two get, that, there, yeah. get the two in, yeah? You know, we're there just to support the player, you know, and it's knowing when, when to push, you know, when to really make them uncomfortable, you know, when they need an arm around the shoulder, when they need to be nurtured. But yeah, that's where your satisfaction comes from in the coaching, is seeing the team achieve its maximum. Hey! Welcome back, Diego. And the guys have worked so hard here in pre-season. I've been really pleased with how, how we've grown and developed in these last three or four weeks. That's the satisfaction and the excitement that I have is continuing to see this team grow and focusing on the, on the process. And, and hopefully at the end of the year, that will translate to the success we want to see on the field.